Some cool characters in anime just grab all your attention as soon as they appear, right? Well, in today's video, we're going to give the spotlight directly to them and run down a list of the top 10 coolest characters in anime. So let's start out with number 10. Number 10, L from Death Note. L is a weirdo, we can't deny that. However, there's just something inherently cool and interesting about him. In the world of Death Note, where mystery and intellect seem to be the only hope of catching the infamous Kira, the fact that L got so close to the truth before he was eventually taken out is beyond impressive. Even before his entanglement, with the serial killer case, L was an internationally famous detective with thousands of solved cases under his belt. He's also unfathomably intelligent and was able to figure out the existence of the Shinigami and the Death Note without access to any. In fact, he was even smarter than Light himself, outsmarting him at many turns and coming out on top in a lot of confrontations. So yes, L is a weirdo, but he's without a doubt incredibly cool. Number 9, Hyakimaru from Dororo. Hyakimaru's tale is about a tragic but admirable character whose existence relies almost completely on justice and revenge. As a result of the curse that took away everything from his limbs to the skin of his bones, Hyakimaru gained supernatural strength and almost demonic abilities, and he used these abilities to fight the demons that plagued the land and reclaim his body parts one by one. What else could be cooler than that? A lone samurai is going about fighting demons to get back what belongs to him. Well, mostly alone anyway. He has a lone companion in Dororo, a child who decides to stick with him through his adventures and who he protects with his life. Hyakimaru is a fun character to watch and one that you will most certainly root for. For this tragic tragic backstory and the intensity of his rage-filled fights, Hyakimaru definitely belongs on this list. Number 8, Guts from Berserk. The black swordsman himself. Move aside, Kirito. There's a bigger fish in town. Guts isn't just a cool guy to root for, he's just objectively badass. He's an interesting character with different motivations that make him feel very real. He's not just your stereotypical hero archetype, because he won't hesitate to let people die when he's focused on a goal. But he's also not a morally neutral character either. He's an anti-hero, which in the anime world with all the goody two-shoes who stand for freedom, peace, and the greater good already makes Guts a standout character. He's a former mercenary who's motivated solely by his will to survive in a world filled with selfish people who only strive to fulfill their own ideals. Despite this, he still holds his close connections with people in high regard and will do anything he can to protect those he loves. Guts has been through a lot, but his raw perseverance and determination are some of his most defining qualities and certainly things you can't help but root for. Number 7, Alucard from Helsing. A gunslinging vampire. Need I say more? I mean, I do because we have to pad out this video's runtime, but come on. The very description of Alucard should tell you just how badass this character is. Alucard is a proud, sadistic, and ruthless vampire who's also a vampire hunter. He's immortal and has an impressive regenerative ability, which allows him to tank the majority of all the shots taken at him and go back for more. Just like Guts, Alucard is a bit more morally ambiguous, but unlike Guts, it's not very hard to tell what side of the slider this guy fits more closely to. He won't hesitate to taunt and belittle his opponents into attacking first, knowing for a fact that it won't change the outcome of the battle. Whether you're mortal or some supernatural eldritch being, that doesn't change the fact that you just can't stand up to the dark powerhouse that is Alucard. Number 6, Jotaro Kujo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. You've seen the memes, you've heard the theme song, and you've most certainly done the pose. Jotaro is highly perceptive, intelligent, and quick-witted. He might come off as a bit aloof sometimes, but he's generally cool and level-headed in his approach to almost every situation. He's so good at keeping his cool, in fact, that you would definitely not want to play a game of poker with him. His straight face will have you second guessing every move you make. That along with his stand, Star Platinum, which is one of the strongest stands in the series, makes Jotaro a fun and interesting character to watch. Despite his stoicness, however, that doesn't mean Jotaro is an unfeeling robot. He still has care for those he chooses to show it to, and he will still fight to protect what he cares about. Number 5, Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Gojo is the kind of guy to go up against a world ending threat with a smile on his face and a confident, goofy stride. He's calm as a cucumber, and one could almost say he's too callous for his own good. But still, as a special grade sorcerer, can you blame him? He's one of the best in the business, and he has fun doing it too. Despite his aloof, fun-loving attitude, Gojo is still a caring and respected person, seen as one of the strongest in the world. He works as a teacher at Tokyo Jujutsu High, and uses his power and experience to train and protect his students to the best of his ability. Being the pride of the Gojo clan, who managed to be the first to inherit both the Limitless and the Six Eyes in over 400 years, you really can't blame him for being so cocky and cool. He's strong, you know he is, I know he is, and if you don't know, you're sure as hell gonna find out. Number 4, Liloche Lamperouge from Code Geass. Liloche Lamperouge from Code Geass is a genius who knows no bounds. He's intelligent, strategic, charismatic, and all around fun to watch. But most anime characters are like that, so what makes Liloche special? The theatrical cascade of his amazingly put together plans. Liloche has the smarts and the willpower to execute some seriously thought provoking plans of action. Liloche is just so entertaining to watch. His overwhelming cocky attitude, which is truly warranted considering the things he manages 
manages to pull off is a spectacle to behold, and it helps that his character truly carries the series. Watching this dramatic and confident teenager outsmart the leader of the world until he himself becomes the leader of the world is the most fun experience you can hope to have with a television show. In short, he's fun to watch, and he looks cool while doing it. Number 3. Minato Namikaze from Naruto The Yellow Flash, the fourth Hokage of the Leaf, and the father of the great Naruto Uzumaki. Minato needs no introduction to the anime fandom, but I'll give him one anyway. Minato was a bright prodigy of a ninja, the kind you would only see once in a generation. He was so renowned around the world that his name preceded him and brought terror to other villages that sought to oppose him. Yet despite all this, Minato is a calm, collected young man with a fierce determination to protect those he loves, even with his dying breath. Just like his son, Minato has a fierce and indomitable spirit, and he's the very embodiment of the will of fire that drives Konoha. He's the creator of the Rasengan, which his son would later learn to spam repeatedly and make different variants of, as well as the fastest ninja in the world, only possibly beaten by his own son. Minato Namikaze is a cool and inspiring character that you can relate to and aspire to be. Number 2. Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan Levi Ackerman is a tragic character, just like many on this list. He's been through a lot and probably suffers from some undiagnosed mental issues, considering that therapy probably isn't the biggest concern in the Attack on Titan world. And having the horrible experience of growing up in a room with your mother's own decaying corpse is not going to be a core memory that raises well put together young men. Still, all these only add to Levi's character, giving him a backstory for his sarcastic, emotionless, and at times psychotic tendencies. That comes right alongside his impressive combat skills. He's the best with the ODM gear, hands down, with Mikasa being a close second to him. His Titan kill count is massive, and his pure skills make his subordinates respect and trust him even to their deaths. He's strong and fast, intelligent and a little awkward. He's a flawed human being, but ultimately, he's just a badass character that hides the fact that he really cares, and that's what makes him so cool. Number 1. Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop And now for our number one pick on the list of the coolest anime characters. I'm sure some of you predicted it already, but we have Spike Spiegel. He's a really cool character, somehow overconfident in his abilities while also perfectly focused and sharp enough to worm his way out of almost any scenario. Spike's also great with just about any weapon he can get his hands on, be it a sword, gun, or mop stick. And on top of all that, he's a caring and loyal person with his own fears and worries for himself and his loved ones. Spike isn't on one side of the moral slider either. He's got baggage, heavy, weighted baggage that haunts his memories. Dreams of lost love and unfinished business keep his company as he wanders through the cosmos in search of redemption or the next thrill. And above all that, he's smart and intelligent, often going into random philosophical ramblings that show just how deep his mind runs. If I haven't just described the coolest character in the media you have ever heard of, then go watch Cowboy Bebop yourself, because I just know you haven't. Spike is a charismatic and fun character to watch, and deserves the title of the coolest character in anime. These characters just stole the spotlight whenever they're on screen, regardless of whether they were the main characters in their series or not. I can guarantee you that every character on this list has a badass moment, and without a doubt made the viewers gasp in admiration. Did you agree with our ranking? Was there any character you think should have been on here? Why don't you share your thoughts in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. See you next time. Bye!